So imagine this. You're walking your dog down the beach at a lake and the smell of rotten fish is in the air. Or you decide to take your child to the park for the day, but you have to leave early because she has an asthma attack and you spend the rest of the day in the doctor's office. Pollution is one of the biggest problems the world is facing today. And so today I'm going to inform you what pollution is, tell you the effects that pollution has on Earth and people, and give you some ideas or things you can do to try and help lessen air or environmental pollution. So first off, what is pollution? The definition of pollution is the presence or introduction into the environment of a substance that has harmful or poisonous effects. There are four main types of pollution. The first one is air, uh, water, sound, and soil pollution. Um, California last year was again voted the number one polluted state in America. And it's I think three years in a row now. I've been to California and it's not what you see on the postcards or the beaches and all that kind of stuff. It's The city is just it's hazy all the time. The street signs are turning yellow and they're brown just because the air is so dirty. Um, I read an article on CEF by Dr. Rinkish, and he says there are two types of pollution, visible and non-visible, and his definition of pollution is any substance that can hinder the atmosphere. What are the effects of pollution? Um, as I said before, there are four types of pollution, and the most dangerous is air pollution. I sent out a survey, and 50% of the people I took the survey had water pollution as being the most dangerous. The two main or biggest problems leading to two main factors in air pollution, the leading factors in air pollution are cars, motor vehicles, uh, which are at the top of the list, and second is production facilities. Cars emit carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, monoxide, which are two very extreme, very hazardous gases and they, in people, it can cause carbon dioxide poisoning. It makes it really hard to breathe and can even result in death. Um, they both also are leading to depletion of the ozone layer, and that's leading to global warming. The ozone layer is responsible for protecting people from harmful UV rays. The, some short-term effects, uh, mainly breathing problems in people. Uh, the most common one is asthma along with severe allergies is another problem it causes. There are also long-term effects that uh, air pollution can have on people, such as lung cancer, heart disease, and possibly even damage to the brain, nerves, kidneys, and liver. Water pollution, uh, the biggest problem with water pollution is acid rain. Acid rain happens when air pollutants combine with the water particles in the clouds, and the water becomes acidic, hence the name acid rain. So when it falls, it kills trees and other vegetation in the surrounding area, and it's very harmful to wild wildlife, especially fish. Um, according to an article on eschool.org, it contaminates the soil and can take months, even years, for vegetation to be able to grow in that area again. Soil pollution is... The biggest problems with soil pollution are herbicides and pesticides. Uh, they just contaminate the soil, and when you get a lot of rain, they'll run down into the creeks, and it's harmful to the fish and other wildlife. Also, another thing I forgot to mention was air, with air pollution, methane from cattle is also a big problem. Uh, they have sometimes have trouble digesting the grass in their stomach, and it kind of ferments, fermentates in their stomach, and then when they release gases, it, the methane is very harmful to the ozone layer also. I didn't know sound pollution was actually a thing, but fun fact, motor vehicles make up about 90% of all unwanted noise worldwide. Now that I've told you some of the effects of pollution, I'm going to tell you some things that you can do to help lessen air pollution, or environmental pollution. There are many things to do. Um, the biggest one that I found on an article on the New Hampshire Environmental Services website is walking or not driving, um, riding a bike also, anything just as long as you're not driving motor vehicles as much. That was at the top of the list of things you could do to reduce air pollution. Uh, another one towards the top was conserving energy. 
Uh, just turn off the lights and fans and whatnot and stuff like that when you leave the house. And some smaller things you can do is not litter, recycle plastics, and use energy efficient devices. And with technology anymore, they're light bulbs and stuff like that. They're just more efficient. The things they're coming up with. So, in conclusion, I inform you of. Uh, what pollution is, the harmful effects that can have on people and earth, and what we can do to help lessen pollution. So if you take do some of these simple things, it takes two seconds to throw a plastic bottle in a recycled container rather than throwing it in a trash can. It's just it's gonna help so much in the long run and my mom always tells me, you know, it's not her plan at this or not her lifetime she's worried about, but the, the kids, or her kids and her kids' kids, is they're going to have problems when they get older because there's so much trash accumulating. So now imagine instead of sitting in the doctor's office the rest of the day with your kid because they had an asthma attack, uh, she's at the park and she makes a new lifelong friend and instead of, you know, being disgusted with the rotting fish and everything, the trash on the beach. You can actually take your dog swimming and just enjoy a nice day at the beach. Thank you.